Um, <coughs> nope. Okay. Hey, you crazy kids. It's me. I'm sick. How's it going? It's Brianna. And welcome back to my channel. As I just mentioned, I am pretty sick today. I've just been coming down with a little headache and just some stuffy nose. And I've been a little bit more tired than usual, even though I've been getting plenty of sleep. So I'm just come down with like a cold or whatever. I don't really have a temperature or anything. I'm just not feeling my best. Um, today's video is a uh, part two. So another video that I filmed a long time ago it is this video right here. This is my record collection video. In this video, I basically showed you guys all my vinyl records that I have in my collection and I took out the vinyls. I explained the vinyls to you guys. And, um, yeah, a lot of you guys really, really like that video. That's the second most viewed video on my channel, which is crazy. You guys are the best. I didn't even know that people filmed videos like that. <laughs> I didn't even know that people filmed videos like that. And I was like, oh, it's just a weird video I did. I have nobody's really going to watch it. And then everybody loved it. And it's the second most viewed video on my channel. And I feel like the videos that I think aren't going to do that well end up doing the best. I'm like, oh, nobody's going to watch this. This is an old trend. Like, this is lame. This is boring. And then people end up loving it, and it's like a big shock to me. So um, I figured I'd do another one for you guys. But I have a lot more records since that video, so I figured that today's video, I could show you guys the second half of my collection. Now what I was going to do for this video, I was going to show you guys my entire collection, including what I already showed you in the first video, but then I'm sick. You guys are probably going to watch that long video, especially if you already watched the first half. I don't want to make that long ass video. I want to go to bed after this and just relax and take this makeup off that I just put on just now. So... I figured that I'll just do the new half of my collection and um, film it for you guys. Also, I didn't even mention that my hair's up. My hair's never usually up, so um, I'm just not. My, I didn't feel like straightening my hair today. Um, by the way, in this video, I'm gonna be doing what I did in the original video. I'm gonna be showing you guys the cardboard cover on the vinyls. I'm gonna be taking the vinyl out of its cardboard cover. I'm gonna be showing you guys the vinyl, even if it's just a black one. And I'm gonna be telling you where I got it. And unlike the first video, there are going to be links in the description down below to where you can buy these things. But I'll put them in order um, of where you can find these things or where, uh, not really where you can find these things, but like where I found these things. So you might be able to find like one that I found at Target, also at Barnes and Noble. But just know that that doesn't mean I'm going to put it everywhere that you can possibly find it in the description down below. I'm just going to put where I found it and where I bought it from. Um, so yeah, be sure to go check that out when you're done with this video. Or if anything sparks your interest, they are in order of mentioned below. That was a line of intro. And I want this video over so I can go to bed. But I'm going to make it as best as I can for possible for you guys. So, uh, yeah, that was a long enough intro. Let's get straight into this video. So, like in the first video, I still have all my vinyls organized alphabetically by the artist's first name. So, um, I'm going to be going in that order. Obviously, skipping over the ones that I showed you guys in the first video, um, but still doing in order. The first one isn't A. This is Ariana Grande. This is Ariana Grande, My Everything. This is a really good album. It's a pretty old album. I don't remember when exactly it came out. Now the specific vinyl, I bought this online at Target. I also saw it online at Barnes & Noble, but I'll be putting the link for Target down below, but if you can't get it from Target for some reason, check out Barnes & Noble website. Just go barnesandnoble.com and um, look up Ariana Grande vinyls, and I'm sure it'll show up for you. But yes, here she is in the cardboard packaging. Here is the back of the vinyl with all the songs, and it actually has the glares a little bit. Eh, sorry, you guys. Uh, I'm going to try to make the glare as best as I can for you. Um, I like when there's like the timestamps on the songs. No particular reason. I just think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this record is actually one that opens up to a really inside, and I'm pretty sure the inside is just credits. Yeah, it's just credits for each of the songs. And this side actually does not open up to anything, but this bottom side actually opens up to the um, actual vinyl. So here's the vinyl in its little paper insert. Now, before I take the record out, I want to mention this for a second. All of you in my last video told, yelled at me for my first video that I was touching the grooms of the records and I was holding them like this. And they, you guys were like, oh my god, you shouldn't touch the grooves, that damages them so badly. And I didn't know as much about records as I do now, so obviously I did not know that. I apologize to all of you who were cringing when I was touching the grooves. I promise you deeply that in today's video I will not be touching the grooves at all. I assure you, none of the grooves will not be touched. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I no longer touch the grooves. So let me take this out. I'm touching it by the very edge, which has no grooves on it. 
here's the first side. It's kind of confusing because on the back side, as you probably just saw, it says side one and side two. So the ones with the words on it is side two, and the ones without the words is side one, in case you were wondering. My one complaint about this, though, is it is kind of weirdly, um, like, the paper's kind of wrinkled in the corner, and it was pretty hard for me to get out of the packaging when I first got it. I mean, in the end, I can get it back in. I actually forget how much this one costs, but I will put all the prices for these on the screens, and if I forget to put one on the screen or say it, then it'll be in the description down below. And if I forget to say where I got one, also in the description down below. So be sure to check the description. Another A, another Ar another Ariana Grande. Ugh. I'm thirsty, hold on. I would like you to remember this moment when you're thinking about subscribing. Remember this moment. Here we have Ariana Grande positions, which probably leads needs little to no introduction. Here is the front with the beautiful album cover. And then we have the back. This one does not open up. I bought this also online at Target. I wanted to get the cool, like, glow-in-the-dark one, but I realized that I could have gotten the glow-in-the-dark one for $2 more after I already ordered this one, and I couldn't figure out how to cancel the order, so I was like, you know what, whatevs, I'll just get this one. Um, so this one just opens up like a regular one, and the first thing that I'm pulling out here, this is just a little poster. So here's the first side. Here's the back side, and then each one just has credits for the songs. It's not like lyrics or anything. Here we have it in its paper compartment. This one online was described as Coke Clear. Very, very cool. It's like a green kind of, this one is side two, this one is side one. This is kind of like a green-ish clear color. Like I said, it was described as Coke Bottle Clear. I really like the sticker, it matches the CD which I have the CD. I really like the color. I think that it represents the album beautifully. I think that it matches the album color beautifully. And I love when the vinyl records kind of match the theme of the album. This, I remember how much this cost. This was $24.99 from Target Online. I don't know if it's different anywhere else, but uh, yeah, link in the description below. We're gonna move straight on to the E's, which are my, which is my one. I only have one E. This is Ed Sheeran Divide. A very good album, it has a big, divide symbol and a blue little splatter this is the front this is the back with all of the music on there this one also this one does open up to some artwork and a picture of ed and like a whole quote thing you can pause the video now to read it i'm not going to read it though because both sides do contain a record this has two vinyl records um, so I'm just going to take one of them out of the side for you. As it says, one side has artwork. On um, both of them it's different, but I'm kind of taking out both of them. And then, and then the first side is lyrics and credits, as it says, at the top. This is just a basic black record, but sometimes classic is good. So here we have the first side, and then the second side, which I think is really cool because it says this is side B, and it looks all handwritten. Very, very cool, but not really much to talk about because it is just a plain back record. And then, of course, the second record is side C and D, and then this one is side A and B. I forget how much this was. I got this in store at Barnes & Noble. I have seen this in many other places, such as, not really Target, but like Newberry Comics, Urban Outdoors. I'm pretty sure you can probably find this in most places. It's a pretty iconic album to have on a record. See a link in the description to where I got it. Skipping over the H's, because all the H's are my Halsey's. Very near and dear to my heart. Her new album is coming on the 3rd, and I'm so excited. I'm coming back from my vacation on August 2nd. So I'll be coming back just in time to hear it, and I am very, very excited. But we're going to move straight on to the eyes, which we have Imagine Dragons Evolve. And so here is the front side with the album cover. And here is the back side with all the music songs. This record also opens up to reveal artwork. And this is just lyrics, I think. Yeah, this is lyrics. And I have a picture of the band. Also, I just want to know this really quick. Am I the only one who confuses Imagine Dragons and 21 Pilots all the time? I always do. I always confuse Imagine Dragons and 21 Pilots like nobody's business. My friends get so mad and I'm like, and they're like, no, that's Imagine Dragons. No, that's 21 Pilots. And I'm like, oh, sorry, I confused them. So let me know in the comments down below. I want to know that I'm not alone in confusing the two. Just a basic black record. Again, nothing special. I promise some cool ones are coming soon. A black a good old black random record is good sometimes. So we have side A, side B, just a cool little sticker um, with a little rainbow, just like the album cover. So nothing too, too special to talk about. Damn it. And it also has a plain paper insert, so nothing too, too special. I got this at in person at Barnes & Noble at this huge Barnes & Noble in Burlington, which is a town, like an 
like a 30 minutes away plus traffic so i will be leaving a link to this in the description from barnes and noble but of course i'm sure you could probably find this somewhere else but i haven't really seen this anywhere else so i'm not really sure we're gonna move straight on to the j i only have one j i literally got this at newberry comics today i saw it at the front of the store and i've heard this song before i don't know who this exact artist is his name is right here i'm pretty sure it's a dude because it sounds like a dude so i'm just gonna assume that it's a dude let me know if it's not a dude i'm sorry that i'm incorrect if you aren't a dude um this is angels and demons by jxdn don't know who he is a very cool very badass album cover we have like a demons and angels with demon wings very good song and then there's like his version of driver's license like olivia rodriguez driver's license in here as well so yeah this was $15.99 so $16 from newberry comics i didn't even know that this album had a vinyl and i was very excited to see it this one is very cool it's crystal crystal clear so this side has angels and demons and then this side has driver's license there's only two songs on here one song per side this is very cool that's pretty much it for this one though sweet and simple it doesn't open up or anything it's just this one i quite like it though i just listened to it so yeah I'll link for this one in the description down below um moving straight on to the k's we have kelsey ballerini this is the kelsey ballerini kelsey album very good album, absolutely love. She has a song with Halsey in this one, it's called The Other Girl with Halsey. And here we have a picture of the lovely Kelsey on the front. And then we have the back with all the music, and then we have like the other half of the photo. It doesn't open up or anything. This was $16.99 um, online at Target. I got it at the same time as I got the My Everything Ariana Grande one. I got the My, uh, My Everything Ariana Grande one, the first one they showed you, and this one in the mail, like on Thursday. Because we ordered them at the same time, so yeah, these are pretty new to the collection. But uh, yeah, very, very cool. Let me open this up. This has a very cool vinyl, but before we look at those vinyl, let's look at the artwork that it comes with. First, we have this picture of Kelsey, and then we have a little thank you note, and then we just have some credits on the back. I like how cute and small this one is. And then, of course, we have this. I usually hate these paper inserts, but this one has, like, a nice little plastic lining on it, which I kind of appreciate. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's beautiful. It has, like, it's pink and it's iridescent, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but do you see those little swirls, like, within the vinyl? Those are, like, iridescent little pink swirls. It looks really cool when I, like, face it down on the floor. If you get it in the, in the light right, it looks really, really cool. I am in love, and I appreciate that the little paper insert has a plastic lining in it because i feel like that makes it a little bit more protective and uh, a lot better a lot of you guys in the comments of my first video though were very very helpful and i appreciate that greatly don't take me not doing those things like ignoring what you're saying i just haven't got a chance to do those things yet but i appreciated all of your comments on the very first video anyways we're going to be moving on to the m's i have two m's first one melly martinez i have in my first video i had one measly melly martinez vinyl now i got two more so i got like all of them pretty much first one crybaby i'm pretty sure this one was 20.99 crybaby an amazing album so here's the front with the lovely album cover and here we have the back i love the artwork on the back and you would know that Eleni martinez is one of my favorite artists if you watched my most recent video while i'm filming this this video that i made with my friends one of the questions was who's my favorite musical artist and there were three different answers Marty martinez is one of them so this vinyl opens up to reveal an a beautiful image of a child holding and cutting off baby heads i don't know if i'll be allowed to show this on youtube like the thing so i'll have to see hopefully i am or else it's gonna be a lot of work for me to cover that beautiful artwork up now here's the thing about Minnie martinez i love how hard she works she puts all the extra steps to make it amazing to make it an experience for her fans and the first side this side this first side there is this book that i got it looks like a little children's book now i saw it and i was like oh it's probably just the lyrics i was so wrong it is a completely illustrated children's book well not necessarily a children's book because there's like profanity and stuff in here but like a picture book and each picture and each picture has a little paragraph underneath it each picture with its little paragraph represents a different song in the book i mean in the album so you have crybaby dollhouse sippy cup carousel alphabet boy soap training wheels pity party don't quote me on all of these tag your it milk and cookies pacify her 
Mrs. Potato Head, and then we have Mad Hatter, and then some credits for Who Drew It at the end, which is amazing. I've never seen anything like this in a vinyl record whatsoever. That is amazing because literally that that is just it makes it worth buying it like it literally makes it so much worth the money and this was like twenty dollars which is not that expensive for a vinyl and then we also just have a thank you which is pastel pink and yellow anyways and this other side we have a hot pink slider and not really slider case for the vinyl unfortunately this is just a black vinyl but honestly that's okay because this is the artwork on side b this is the artwork on side a it is just a basic black vinyl but honestly i kind of am living for it and i do appreciate the quality of this little protective sleeve right here very very cool very very cool recommend got it from barnes and noble i think i saw this at barnes and noble like in the front of one of like the things and i was like yes we have k through 12 this was, I think this one was the one that was $24.99 and got this at Barnes & Noble also at the same time. So here we have the front and then we have the back. These are all the songs, by the way. I know it's kind of hard to see. Now here's what impressed me and what made me realize why it looks all, like why it looks so weird and why it's so thick. When I opened this up. Okay, I can, I can open up things like an adult. Okay. Look at this! It looks like the school grounds from the future film. Are you kidding me? I have never seen anything like this before. This is insanity. I was like screaming at this point. And we're not done there. And this very first side, connected to the album cover, we have a beautiful pink composition book that says K through 12 Molina Martinez. And then each page, first of all, the first opening cover actually has like your class schedule and everything. And then we have wheels on the bus. And then we have pictures from the feature film. And then we have the lyrics. And then we have basically like two pictures from the feature film while they were singing the song. And then we have the lyrics for it. And there's like a big thank you on the end of it. So cool. Oh, and I didn't even show you. Just like the after school ep one. The Kaiwei one doesn't have this. But just like the after school ep one, it has a fun design. It has little angels. Anyways, to the actual vinyl, which is what you're here for, I'm sure. We have this light pink little protective sleeve. And then we open it up to reveal a beautiful light pink vinyl. We have side B. And side A, the little sticker looks like a piece of paper, and it's even got little wrinkles in it, like it's a little paper. I love it. It's beautiful and pink, and I absolutely love it. I love this album. This is Molly Martinez, K-12. Next, we're going to move on to the S's. We have Selena Gomez Rare. Link in the description down below, like I said. So, at the back, we have all these Polaroids of Selena growing up. Well, not right. Lower, just pictures and then we have all of the songs this one doesn't open up to anything fancy it just kind of opens up to this nice little i think on the back i haven't actually ever looked at the back there's just credits and then there's this beautiful picture of selena i haven't tried out her makeup line yet by the way if anybody recommends it or anything has any recommendations from the line please be sure to let me know anyways here it is it just has a plain little sticker on there it says rare just a black vinyl, nothing special or anything. I don't remember how much this was, but I did get it from Barnes & Noble. Moving on to my next, the reason I got it sideways is because it's sideways on this side, so I was facing it upright. Um, and to my next S, we have Shawn Mendes Island, I think it's called. Yeah, Shawn Mendes Island. I don't really use this, like, ever. I don't really know why I bought this. I think I just mainly bought it because the album cover was the same one as It's In My Blood, which is a song that I really, really like. And I was like, yeah. But then I realized, wait, I don't really like any of these songs in the album, so why did I buy this? I don't really know. But I do listen to it on the occasion. I didn't even show you the back side yet. Here's the front. Here's the back. Like I said, it is sideways, so I will turn it right side for you. And we open this one up to find. So we have this thank you note and then the credits. Um, anyways, first off, we take the vinyl, it's just black. One side is like a lighter beige, one side is a darker beige on the sticker. Just a black vinyl, nothing to really talk about. It just has a plain paper insert, nothing too special. Yeah, this is a good album, I like it. I got it from Barnes & Noble. The main places that I get my vinyls from is like Target and Barnes & Noble. That's usually where I go to find my vinyls just because that's where I can get them in my area. I look at Newberry Comics occasionally, but Newberry Comics mostly just has like older vinyls like they don't really have newer ones all the time all right we're gonna move on to my teas i bought this today <laughs> this was like 30 dollars so kind of expensive i got this at newberry comics at the same place at the same time today that i got the angels and demons one this is taylor swift fearless platinum version i would prefer the original version of fearless but i mean this is what they had and i've been wanting this one i had a taylor swift barbie doll i had taylor swift perfume i had taylor swift a lot of things i was a pretty big taylor swift fan and i still like taylor swift but i'm just accidentally 
very knowledge very knowledgeable about Taylor Swift on accident. I just happen to know a lot about her by accident. Like I don't mean to. Here's the friends very old school album cover, very old album cover. And we have the back with all the songs. I think these are the lyrics. I don't really know. Yeah, these are the lyrics. I never know if it's lyrics or credits. This has two discs, so in this very first side, it's a very old school cheesy picture of her holding a heart, which is something that all- Do you guys remember when all celebrities used to do that? I don't know if celebrities still do that. I mean, like when I was a kid, there was like a book that I got from the library, and it was like Justin Bieber and like Taylor Swift, and basically it was a book that was telling all of these like celebrities how they hold up hearts to their fans at the end of concerts, but I feel like nobody does that anymore. Like it's so cheesy, nobody does that anymore. Anyways, um, it's just a basic black vinyl, this vinyl. I don't think the vinyl itself is old, I just think that the album itself is old. I think this is probably the oldest vinyl that I have. I think that this album is like 10 years old, I'm gonna guess. Probably about 10 years old. But anyways, we have side B and side A. But yeah, I think this album is like 10 years old. So that means it came out when I was around 5. Anyways. We have side D and C inside here as well, but I'm not going to take it out because it's the same. Uh, I got this from Newberry Comics, $29.99, and for some reason, I bought it. Next, Heather Swift, we have Folklore. This is her second newest album, I think. This is a newer one of hers. We have the album cover, then we have the back with all of the music on there. This does open out to reveal images. On this first side, this has two discs, so I'm only going to show you one of them. We have these, which have the lyrics to the songs. And then I got this from Target, by the way. This was $24.99. I got this, like, two days ago. Like, yesterday, I think. I have an obsession. It was the Target exclusive red vinyl. But we have side one, side two. Just a red vinyl. Nothing too special, but very cool. That was Taylor Swift folklore that I bought in person from Target. Evermore by Taylor Swift, $24.99, I believe, or maybe $23.99, around the same price as Folklore from Target. I bought it in person. I think this was a very good selling record. Like, it sold really, really fast, and I can imagine why. This is a good album for a record player. Here we have the front, and we have the back with all the music on there. This one, like her other ones, open up to reveal some images. Both of them are the same, so I'm just going to open up the one that's near the album cover. We have lyrics. We have... More lyrics, um, and we open it up to reveal this red vinyl. This one is also the exclusive, like, red Target ones. Yeah, it's a very, very bright, like, deep, deep red. We have side two, side, side one, that one was side one. I'm sorry, I'm getting really tired. Don't worry, though. We're on the home stretch because we only have one left, so. Don't you fret, my friend. A final one. This is the tease. Once again, this is still the tease. Um, we have 21 Pilots Trench. I bought this in person from Barnes & Noble. I think this was like $24.99 also. Um, Barnes & Noble. Link in the description. Like everything else. Here's the front. Here's the back. And then here are all these songs. There we go. And then, when we remove this from the thing, it is just a boring black record. But honestly, I think it really suits the album. But the sticker is very, very cool. I don't really know why I spun it around like that, but I guess now you know what it looks like when you spin it around. But yeah, this one is just a basic black record, so there's really not that much to go off of. I feel like this video was a lot shorter than my first one. Like, my very first record collection video, like, it took me... I think I had like 50 minutes of footage and I had way less records than I did in this video But I feel like in that original video I went on and on and on and I don't go as I don't go on as much anymore But not only that I um, I'm just not feeling my best So I feel like I tried to do this as best as I could while I had time to film All right, you crazy kids. That was it for part two of my vinyl record collection. This was the updated version Hey guys, editor me here. So, um, a couple of things. I filmed this video, like, a long time ago, like, back in July. And when this video was supposed to get posted, just kept getting pushed back and pushed back. So, I ended up posting in September. At, obviously, that's when you're seeing it here. <laughs> um, but I have gotten a lot more records since then because I have a problem. So, I'm just going to show you some pictures of the records that I've gotten since I filmed this video, just so that way you guys can see them. These vinyls will also be linked in the description down below. So you can check them out. So without further ado, my bonus records. Please enjoy.
Sorry for the interruption, and if you enjoyed it, then um, you're welcome, and let's get back to the outro. Version. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You guys really enjoyed the last one, so hopefully you'll enjoy this one just as much. Well, like I said, be sure to go check out the record collection video, the original one of any one of these corners right now, and also in the description down below, so be sure to go check it out. It is kind of an older video. I didn't really have a proper intro to my channel yet, and, um, you know, just prepare. It's a little bit of an older video, so just... Keep that in mind. And if you guys do want a video where I do my entire collection all at once, please let me know when I'm feeling better. I will probably film that video. Or if you guys want like an updated, newer version of my first half, let me know why you would want that. I don't know, but if you do, I'll do it. Thank you guys so much for 80 subscribers at the time that I'm filming this video. You guys are great. Why did the peace signs? I do not know. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want more record playing, vinyl hunting content. Oh, also, I did forget to mention, please check out the description down below to also find links to all these records in order that they're mentioned, so alphabetically by the artist's first name. And as always, I will see you crazy kids when I am healthier, less sick, and on the other side of YouTube. Bye.